Hi guys and welcome to another video here on my channel. Today I'll be testing nine different kinds of pellets and slugs and see how they perform as hunting ammunition. For the test I'll be using my trusty FX Impact Mark II in the 177 caliber. The first ammunition that I'll be testing is the 8.44 grain uh, Diablo shaped pellet from uh, FX air guns. Uh, the most popular uh, type of ammunition in the air gunning industry, but is it any good for hunting? We'll have to see. Next up, JSP Heavy 10.34 grain pellet. I've shot this quite a lot myself and I'm very happy with the accuracy of this one. Next up, JSB Monster, slightly heavier, 13.43 grain. Uh, shot this quite a lot myself as well, and uh, also a very accurate pellet. Next one is the JSB Beast, which is the, the heaviest pellet that I'll be shooting today. It's 16.2 grains, and it likes to be shot fast. Uh, I'm shooting it uh, at the moment as my favorite ammunition at uh, 940 feet per second. The last one from GSB is also the first one with the hollow point. It's the uh, Ultra Shock Heavy uh, and it's a 10.34 grain pellet. I've never shot this myself, so I'm very excited to see how it actually performs. Next one is the first one from uh, HN. It's the Barracuda Hunter, extremely popular pellet in the air gunning industry. I've never shot it before, uh, but I'm very excited to see how it fits the impact. It's a 10.49 grain pellet, um, so it, it's supposed to pack a lot of energy. Next up is the Barracuda Hunter Extreme, also very popular hunting pellet. It's a 9.57 grain pellet. I've never shot this one before either, but uh, I'm very excited to see how it performs. Next up is the first slug. It's from uh, NSA. It's a 12.5 grain hollow point dish base. I've shot this quite a lot and it likes to be shot fast. And I mean over a thousand feet per second and it's still a laser. So I love this very, very much. The last one also from NSA. It's uh, the 15 grain hollow point dish base. Um, it also likes to be shot fast. I mean like at 970 I'm shooting it uh, and it's still like a laser. So these are the pellets and slugs that I'll be testing. I'll be testing them uh, against a bar of clay and the parameters that I'll be testing is uh, the expansion of the cavity, the penetration and the expansion of the pellet itself. So let's get on with the shooting and have some fun. And now before I start shooting, I'll just introduce you to my setup here in my garden. This is a shelter where, where I sit. And then back here, I have uh, 30 meters. Uh, today we're setting up at, uh, at 20. So uh, let's get started. Okay, let's start testing. Uh, the first one is um, the 8.44 grain uh, Diablo shape pellet from uh, FX. Uh, I'm shooting this uh, pretty fast actually, but I've, I've had some great results with the speed uh, above 900 feet per second. So uh, this one I'm firing at uh, 916 uh, feet per second and it drops just, uh, just around 16 foot pounds. So um, let's see how it goes. It might be uh, the first choice of the day, but it will definitely not be my first choice for a hunting pellet. Hmm, not a bad start. The 8.44 grain pellet from FX created a cavity of 26.34 millimeters. It penetrated the clay 15 centimeters 
and it went from its original size to 4.68 millimeters in diameter. Okay, number two on our list is uh, the GSB Heavy, 10.34 10 uh, grains, uh, and I'm shooting this at uh, 930 feet per second, and it's packing just around uh, 20 foot pounds. Um, for the velocities uh, on the pellets today, uh, they might not be uh, accurate, but because this is not an accuracy test, um, I'm just firing it uh, close to uh, what I'm used to firing it at. So the gun is not fine-tuned for uh, for the pellets today, just so that you know. But uh, in case that you uh, have other experiences uh, with the velocities of uh, the way that you're shooting uh, your pellets, you're more than welcome to uh, comment in the comment section. So let's get on with the GSB Heavy. Nice one. The GSB Heavy created a cavity of 26.52 millimeters and it penetrated the clay 22 centimeters. It went from its original size in diameter to a diameter of 4.67 millimeters. So that brings us to number three on our list. It's the GSB Monster Redesigned. Um, they weigh in at 13.43 uh, grain and they pack uh, 25 foot pound at uh, six sorry at 916 feet per second wow the JSP monster redesigned created a cavity of 36.83 millimeters. It penetrated the clay 18.5 centimeters and it went from its original size to a diameter of 4.9 millimeters. Okay, number four on our list is the GSB Beast, 16.2 grain and shooting it at uh, around 940 feet per second. And that's just shy of uh, 32 foot pounds, so uh, it packs a, a lot of energy. Let's check it out. The JSB Beast created a cavity of 37.06 millimeters and it penetrated the clay 22 centimeters. It went from its original size to a diameter of 5.07 millimeters. I thought I would interrupt the shooting uh, with a little gun segment. So for those of you who are interested, stick around, listen up. And for those of you who just want to watch the shooting, you can uh, scroll forward and uh, continue with the shooting. But um, as I mentioned uh, in my intro, uh, this is the uh, FX Impact Mark II. Um, I have it uh, in the 177 caliber. And uh, I, yeah, as you can see, I, I, I did some, uh, some upgrading to it. So um, if we start back here, uh, we have the back rider from Sabre Tactical. Uh, very nice item if you're shooting bench uh, like I do primarily. Uh, here in the front we have the uh, Arca Swiss rail. Um, it's nice to have the bipod uh, attached a bit further uh, to the front of the gun so the, the balance is better. Um, up here at the front I've attached uh, this thing that I made myself uh, is, to, um, is to attach the crony to so you don't have to attach it to the barrel. The thing that happens when you attach the crony to your barrel is that it uh, affects the harmonics of the barrel. So uh, you will never get the complete accuracy uh, if you attach it there. So that's why I uh, mounted it uh, down here so I can uh, shoot uh, and be accurate and take the velocities at the same time. Inside the barrel, I have a carbon sleeve. Um, a good friend of mine made it for me and it's, uh, it's just a blast. It makes a world of difference. Um, as you can see, this 
gun is uh, the version with the power plenum, um, and it, it makes the, the gun a, a bit more consistent and it actually gives a few more shots as well. I have mounted it uh, with the Vika gauges, uh, which is uh, very good because they are much more accurate and especially from the one with the regulator, you can see that uh, the, the, the dial is much bigger uh, and um, you get a much more detailed reading. On top here, I have the, the element helix scope uh, in the second focal plane. I would love to get it in the first focal plane at some point, but uh, yeah, let's see. Um, back here, I have the scope, mi scope mount from uh, SideShot. Uh, so easy uh, to attach and uh, just put your GoPro in and you're ready to go. Actually, you have to change the lens in your GoPro uh, to a 12 millimeter that you can get from uh, Eagle Vision. Uh, but um, it can be done, you have to be a little patient about it, but if I can do it, I'm pretty sure that you can do it as well. For the shooting, uh, in, in this test, I've done two uh, different settings on the regulator. Uh, for the lighter pellets, I've had the reg, uh, the reg set at uh, 85 bar, which is uh, more than enough. Uh, and for, for the heavier pellets and slugs, I've had it at uh, 132. Um, 132 uh, seems to be the right setting for me for the especially the the heavy slugs. Um, maybe I would go uh, a bit higher uh, to push uh, the 15 grainers just a little faster. But uh, yeah, testing, 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 and yeah, you know how it is if you own an impact. So uh, anyway, this is uh, the segment about the gun, and let's go back to the shooting. Okay, now getting into the hollow points, we're starting off with the JSP Ultra Shock, and it's the same weight as uh, as the heavy at uh, 10.34 grain. Uh, I'm shooting it at uh, 900 feet per second, and it delivers around uh, 19 foot pounds. Like I said before, I haven't really tested this uh, completely, but uh, the rough testing that I that I did before shooting um, was uh, that it kind of stabilized around 900 so this is where I chose to um, to to place it for for the test but uh, if you have other experiences please do comment in the comment section about it so um, let's test it out and see how it does uh, on the clay bar That left a massive hole. Uh, let's go and measure it. The JSB Ultrashock made a huge cavity of 42.81 millimeters. It penetrated the clay 10 centimeters and it went from its original size to 5.98 millimeters. Okay, so next up on our list, uh, number six, is the uh, Barracuda Hunter. It's a 10.49 uh, grain uh, hollow point. Uh, and I've never shot uh, this before, not, not even the pellet, not even the brand, so this is completely new for me. I did uh, some testing on this one and it seemed to be kind of accurate around uh, 880 feet per second. So uh, let's see uh, how it does. Um, it carries, uh, let's see, 18 foot pounds. So let's check it out. Not too bad. The HNN Hunter created a cavity of 39.15 millimeters and it penetrated the clay 10 centimeters. The pellet went from its original size to a diameter of 7.21 millimeters. And now to number seven on our list uh, once again HNN. This is a Barracuda Hunter Extreme. It's a 9.57 grain. Pellet. Uh, it, it doesn't have a hollow point, but a but a cross uh, at the top. So this is actually uh, the one hunting pellet that's uh, that stands out uh, from the other hunting hunting pellets that I that I chose these uh, these hollow points. So uh, I'm expecting uh, a 
bit of a different uh, expansion of the pellet, but uh, yeah, we can see that when I've shot into the clay. So let's start, check it out. The H&N Hunter Extreme created a cavity of 37.31 mm and it penetrated the clay 10 cm. The pellet went from its original size to a diameter of 6.19 mm. Okay, now we're going into the slugs, starting with the NSA 12.5 grains. I'm shooting these at 1000 feet per second and uh, with an energy of uh, 27.75 so I've been looking forward to uh, shooting this slug into uh, the clay bar so let's see what it does holy moly that's a big hole. Let's check it out to see how much damage it's done. The 12.4 grain slug from NSA created a cavity of 40.06 millimeters. It penetrated the clay 10.5 centimeters and the slug went from its original size to a diameter of 8.03 millimeters. And now for the last one, now grand test. And this is the ground finale. It's uh, the NSA 15 grains. I'm shooting this one at uh, 970 feet per second and it drops just over 31 uh, foot pounds. So let's see what this does to the clay. Hmm, interesting. Let's check it out. The 15 grain slug from NSA created a cavity of 42.74 millimeters and it penetrated the clay for 10 and a half centimeter. The slug went from its original size to expand to a diameter of 8.32 millimeters. So, what to make of a test like this? For me, never having shot uh, hollow points before, I didn't really know what to expect. Uh, in terms of uh, expansion. So I was just very happy to see that the hollow points actually did expand. The first four, more like regular pellets, the 8.44, the Heavy, the Monster and the Beast, they actually did what I expected them to do. They did a deep penetration, but they didn't expand that much. And for the expansion, it follows the weight of the pellet. Going into the hollow points, the Heavy Ultra Shock, the Barracuda Hunter and the Barracuda Hunter Extreme, did kind of similar jobs. The expansion was good, the penetration was not that deep, so this means that the pellet dumps their energy just after the entry. So in terms of using this for a hunting pellet, I would say it makes sense. But the clear winner of this test, yeah, that is NSA. Of course they are shot pretty fast, but the expansion of this slug is just so much better than it is in the pellets. I know that the expansion in clay is much different from when it hits an animal because there's a lot going on in an animal. There's fur, there's bones, there's soft tissue. So it's not as dense as the block of clay. But tell me what you think. Leave a comment in the comment section and maybe tell me a bit about your experiences with these pellets when you've been using them for hunting. So for now, that's all. I hope you enjoyed the video and remember to hit that subscribe button and I'll see you again soon. Take care.